Hello everybody, my name is Yasmin Alice. Today I'm in the heart of Bloomsbury in London at Bloomsbury Institute. In this video, I've got the lovely Shola Fiberissima, who's the Student Guild Manager. We're going to get to know her and talk a little bit about the Student Guild. So, first of all, welcome. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And um, tell me a little bit about your past in education. Okay, well, I am a former student of Bloomsbury Institute, where I studied business and management. Before then, I went to Canterbury University, where I did a degree in lifelong learning. So, and um, from there, I also went to do my master's in career management and, and coaching. But most importantly, the love that I've had for my business and management course has given me the opportunity to work here at the Student Guild. I'm assuming you enjoyed studying here and then you came back to work here. I think we have a slogan here is that once you come in, you can't leave. So you either come in as a student, you go as an alumni, or if you're fortunate to you come back as a member of staff. And I happen to be one of those that's been able to come back as a member of staff. Great. So let's talk about the Student Guild. Am I correct to assume it's kind of similar to a student union? Um, yes and no. In some ways, I would say yes, in terms of interaction, in terms of it being a home for the students, in terms of a place for um, the go-to area where students can come together, have fun, um, communicate, where their voice is being heard, a place where it kind of parallels their academic journey. Um, and I think that's the similar thing across all universities and all student unions. But I think where we actually differ a bit is that, um, and some people might think, you know what, this is a cliche, but there is this rivalry between student union and the institution, but we work together in collaboration. We sit down, we have conversations. We don't always get what we want, but we always get listened to, and more often than not, we come out really with good results. So I think that's where we kind of differ. Your official title is Student Guild Manager. What does that mean? Well, I, I keep on asking myself, <laughs> what does that mean? Because the, the, the role keeps on evolving. But in the heart of it, I think my role is all about strategy. It's all about operations. And it's all about making sure that the right systems are in place to make sure that the students are well represented. I work alongside the student president with the team, the student council. So in the heart of it, it's really making sure that everything on ground, behind the scene, is done. Managing the budget right, making sure we have enough money to have fun and to do all the things that we need to do. In summary... So you've been here uh, as Student Guild Manager for quite a few years and uh, you were telling me about students' voices being heard. Can you give me an example over the past few years where students have asked for something and their voices were heard? Oh wow, that is a loaded question <laughs> and I will think of a, a couple. Well, I'll actually, I'll start with the memory because I did say that I was a student here first. So that's taken me back a couple of years because I remember we would have our induction and there would be a situation whereby we all turn up, you get spoken to for a long time, each person comes in and out. And over time we felt that that wasn't really a good way in communicating. It was almost like overload. And it changed. So it moved from that to a more intimate more smaller um, way of which they listen to us. Um, timetabling, we've had challenges with timetabling. Again, we've had these issues raised and it's been looked in, even down to the building. Some buildings are cold, it's not, you know, things, very simple things, but they're, they're, they're listened to, they're taken on board and, you know, changes are made. And in addition to that, we have um, our students that actually go to, to meetings. And at those meetings, their voices are being heard. Whatever they say is taken on board. One thing our director says is that we may not be able to give you everything you want, but we will listen and we'll try our best. And I think that's what they are doing. Brilliant. So you always encourage students to partake in the Student Guild. How does one partake? Like, do they become a member? Is there a way to get involved? Well, the thing is, as a student of Bloomsbury Institute, you automatically become a student, you become a member. 
so we call them members. So you become a member of the student guild, so automatically you become a member. Um, and what we do is we, during our inductions, during our welcome week, we do a lot of advertising. We, we have, you know, similar to Freshers Week. So we have our welcome back week. We go bowling, we go, you know, just to integrate people to say, okay, you've had a lot of academic stuff thrown at you. Now let's have some fun thrown at you. So we use that to break the ice, to get people to come in. And it's always great because at that point, the students that are new, the foundation year students, or even if you're here for your masters, and those that have been on ground, is a great opportunity for people to come together and to mix. So that's how we do it in an informal, informal setting. We get people to have an understanding of what we do. And one other thing that, again, in terms of change that you talked about earlier that has been introduced as well, is that during enrollment, we have students who actually partake as part of that enrollment system, and they're just there. So we at the very early stage are able to talk about the guild, to tell them that, hey, we're here. But most importantly, they have the opportunity to talk to students and not just staff doing their enrollment to go, wow, and they say, do you know what, it's fun. And how, who best to tell you what it's like than the students who are already there? You've mentioned fun. Yes. So I know that you guys do a gala night here uh, with the student guild. What's that all about? Yes, the gala <laughs> night. You can see my face light yeah. up. The gala night is our signature event. And again, it was, it was a dream. And I'll just take you back to how that actually started. So the gala night is part of our anniversary. So our official date is the 1st of February. So every year, so that's where we count from. And we decided, how do we celebrate our anniversary? So we started with in-house and then we graduated, as we do with progress, to the gala. And this gala, the unique bit about the gala is that it's where students, staff, alumni, and our different stakeholders, they all come together, one roof, and just have fun. And what we say is that it's really nice that sometimes we think that our lecturers are not human because we see them in front of the class or during virtual time, we see them behind the screen, and you think, you know, they're just knowledge-based. So it's a really nice place where people come, and we see staff as human, and we also see students in a different setting. I mean, it's so amazing that on the day, people come in, and you don't even recognize who they are, because they come in their jeans to class, and then everybody came, comes glamour, bling, bling, and you're thinking, <laughs> really? Is that you? So it's a really good place, what we call, to connect, to, co to have conversation, and to celebrate. And a great thing about the gala is where we also award our students. So it's where we award the student reps, the peer advisors, everybody that has been a student worker or has contributed to the growth of the guild, our society leaders, we, you know, honour them on that day and they have the opportunity. It's like our mini Oscar. They have the opportunity <laughs> to, to do the red carpet event. They, you know, walk the red carpet and walk the stage where people applaud and celebrate. Because we find out that a lot of work goes on behind the scene. A lot of things are done. And it's a great way to say thank you to the students because most of it is voluntary to say thank you to the students, but also to allow the students who decide to sit on the fence, as I say, to say, do you know what? Get involved. One day you might walk the red carpet also. So that's what the gala is all about. It's about celebration, it's about having fun, it's about connecting, and it's just about community. It sounds like a lot of amazing things are happening at the Student Guild and Bloomsbury Institute. What other changes do you expect? What can we see in the future from the Student Guild? Well, one of my slogans at our last gala was bigger and better. So first of all, I'll say it's going to be bigger and it's going to be better. We have opened our doors to international students even more than we've had before. So we are thinking that, you know what, it's going to be an even more diverse community. Um, we're going to be, we, we are thinking of now having our own international society. So again, that would give us flavour to different cultures 
and how we can actually use that word called cultural intelligence, how we can you know, boost that up in, in, our, in our educational journey as well. So I think there's going to be more fun, there's going to be more activities, there are going to be more societies, more clubs, people have been buzzing cricket, they've been saying they want, more, they want cricket, I'm thinking, okay, we've got football, now cricket. So I think, it's, I think there's going to be a lot of things happening, things that I don't even know anything about that will unfold, but we'll see. So there might be some international students watching this video, such as like myself, I was also an international student coming from another country, you know, you're coming to this country, you don't know anything. Does the Student Guild do anything to make international students feel supported and comfortable? One of the events that we're planning, which we've done before, but we're going to do that again, is to actually rent a whole bowling arcade suit wow. for the whole day. So everybody within that environment is just going to be our students. We're going to have the new current students and we're going to have the new students. And it's going to be an opportunity for them to have fun, explore something new, but most importantly, connect with other people who have already been there. Because we do have international students on ground already but then they will be able to now speak to the new ones and then share ideas, network, build relationships, discuss some of the fears, the challenges that, you know, we, I may not be able to answer, but there will be people in the room that will be able to answer that and then they will be able to have it. So we're going to be having, again, my popular word, the fun and interaction all in one go to let them know that, yes, it's okay to be afraid, but there are solutions. Sounds like a lovely welcoming environment Yay. for all the international students. And uh, I've read about your mission statement, but I'm not going to attempt to repeat it. I'm going to ask you to, and then maybe you can maybe tell me a little bit about what that means, what that entails. Yes, our very proud mission statement is extending the student experience beyond the classroom. Wow, I love that. Yeah, and everything that I've said prior is really about that. So it embraces that and it ties in with our values because our values, you know, sometimes you have values and you just look at them and you don't know whether they actually do fit. But I'm just proud to say that our values do fit. So our values are we are student led. And from what I've said before, in terms of having our student voice to the student council, to the student president, you know, that is part of how we extend our you know, um, experience beyond the classroom. We are very adventurous. So that's our second value. And that tells you that we don't shy away from challenges. We, again, we've got the international students coming. We use that as an opportunity to find out about our students beyond law, beyond accounting, and beyond business. And we've been able to find out a lot more. I mean, one of our students is a film director. We would not have known that if we didn't come to the Guild. And we are beneficiaries of that. So, you know, it's a great place for us to, to allow people to adventure beyond that discipline that they've come to study. And the other thing is that we are very um, hospitable. So we are very friendly and we run a scheme which we call the peer advisor scheme and that is a paid scheme and what that does is that it allows students to talk to students so if they have any concerns so they know that they've got a friendly face they've got a friendly person who's walked their journey and has that opportunity so all of that embraces what we believe as extending our student experience beyond the classroom. And there's one important thing that I have left out is societies. So we have, and are still building, so that's maybe some of the things we'll be seeing in the future, but at the moment we have our disciplines. We have law, business, accounting, um, which is our, those are the standard. And the beauty of that again, is that there are people who are in law, but really want a bit of, to find out what's happening in business. So you can cross over. So you, you have the opportunity to find out if you're in accounting and you want to find out what's happening in law, you can cross over and become a member of any of those societies. But also we now have an umbrella of three different societies, which is equality. So anything that embraces equality society, we will now have groups or clubs that fall under that. Recreation, that's all about film, that's all about cinema. By the way, I forgot to tell you, every month we take a trip to the cinema 
and the students choose what film they want to do, what to watch, and it's free. Wow. They just need to show up. So, and then our, our final um, society is sports, and that embraces everything down to football. Now we were thinking of cricket and all that. So I think that really is a summary with our values of how we do extend the student experience beyond the classroom. What sort of advice would you give to a student who wants to get more involved with the student guild? For example, they want to go for, I don't know, student president or any of the other important roles. Well, I would say, first of all, enjoy the journey yourself. Find out what's happening. Get engaged yourself, and then you will have something to give back. And I think that is the real message, because if you don't enjoy, if you don't engage, you really won't have anything to give back. So it's a simple answer. Get engaged. <laughs> Shola, it's been lovely speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to learn more information about the Bloomsbury Institute or the Student Guild, all the links will be down below. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Yasmin Ellis. Today I'm at the Bloomsbury Institute and with the lovely Orla May, we're going to be talking about the Student Guild. So first of all, thank you for joining me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. So when you were um, a student rep slash many other different roles, um, obviously let's talk about those roles first of all. You wore so many different hats here. So I started off as a student representative, then I became a peer advisor, a trustee and, a, and a, the activity officer. Wow, so many different <laughs> roles. Was that difficult to manage everything? So I started off as a student representative when I was in my foundation year. Um, and that was just about, you know, representing the student needs, going around, meeting all the different students from my um, level on the law course, just seeing what the issues were, bringing them to meetings. So it was nice to get me out of the comfort zone. Then after that, I went on and I became a peer advisor, so helping out within the guild. So any student that came in, for any sort of issues, timetabling, finance, we could help them out. Then the activity officer and student trustee, um, that was more about planning activities, writing reports, going to board meetings. So, I mean, it was a lot at first in each of the roles, but you kind of gradually ease into it. So you studied law? I studied law. What was that like? That was fun. Um, I really, really loved that. Um, I did the accelerated course, so I did it all very quickly while also doing the guild roles. Um, so I was very active, which I liked. I like to keep my mind going. Obviously, studying law is quite difficult. I've done it, so I know. But um, how did you get involved with the guild and how did you find time for it? Um, so I got involved actually just as a student representative at first. And then I said, you know, I'd like to become more active in the guild. Um, so. I became a peer advisor and then Shola told me to apply for the activity officer. She said, you know what, I've changed your role, go for something bigger, I know you can do it. And I kind of freaked out, I thought, no, oh my gosh, it's too much responsibility. But Shola kind of saw that potential in me that I didn't realise I had at the time and that's how I became so involved. And what are the benefits of the student guilt for students? I mean, they're, they're endless. So for me, when I first started, I was this shy, quiet girl, sit in the back of the class, don't look at me, don't talk to me. Now I cannot shut me up. <laughs> um, you know, it helps you with experience for work as well. So for example, when I had to write reports and pre uh, present them, there was not as much pressure because I was still a student. So, you know, if I got it wrong or if I kind of messed up a little bit, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be fired. <laughs> um, so yeah, it really helps you prepare for working life, confidence. You meet a lot of different people that maybe you wouldn't normally meet. So because I was on law, I got to then interact with business students, accounting students, different staff members. They were on the different board meetings. How do you become a student rep? Um, so you just volunteer yourself and then you have to get some votes from people. Um, I'm not sure if it's changed now. You may be able to talk to the others but when I was a student they would come into the class ask who wanted to be a student rep and for me it was a kind of like oh my gosh okay let's do this let's stand up let's volunteer myself push myself um, and then yeah you just have to get some people to support you 
and yeah. <laughs> Wow, sounds fantastic. And you've talked about some of the other roles uh, that you had in the Student Guild. And how did you get those roles? Because you said you applied. How was the application process like? So the application process, it's, um, I mean, as I said, at first it can seem a bit daunting. But once you kind of get over that initial anxiety, so you just fill out, you write a manifesto, why would you be good at this job? You get some support signatures. So it's really... I don't know, it's not one person, appoint, one person appointing another person. There is that community behind it because, you know, you have to rally students to support you, which I think is really nice because, again, you get to then socialise and meet people. Amazing. So let's talk a little bit about what you're doing right now. You're a lecturer in law. I am. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So how do you think um, being involved with the Student Guild has helped you in your current career? Well, when I was involved in the Student Guild, I would have to go around to different lecture halls and advertise different events um, that the Student Guild were hosting. So I would have to stand up on the lecture stage in front of a lecture group. And I think that just kind of prepared me to be able to talk in front of people. Um, as I said, the kind of work experience about writing reports, presenting reports, and the confidence was a, a big thing. Amazing. And if we've got any... I don't know, like prospective students or current students who are watching this video, what kind of advice would you give them? To get involved, just, and even if it's, if, even if it's not a role, just showing up to events that are being held because there's such good networking opportunities. Um, as I say, it builds your confidence. You get so many transferable skills. For example, as activity officer, I learned how to do video editing which is something I never would have thought to do, and now it's something that I love. And it doesn't really have any relevance to law, but it's something that I enjoy doing that I never would have found out otherwise. Amazing. So my final question is going to be about CVs, obviously. Studying law, difficult, but graduating, very difficult. But finding a job after graduation is one of the most difficult things ever. Do you think um, being able to put those various hats that you've had into your CV has helped you find a good job? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, when I went for interviews for roles and also for further education, yes, they asked me about my education, but when they saw the roles on the CV, they really wanted to know about that. So, oh, you've done this, you've done that. Um, how does that transfer? What did you learn from that? So that's why I'm saying just get involved if you can, because it really does help you throughout your whole life, even if you don't realize it at the time. Amazing. Thank you so much, Orla. It was Thank lovely you. to talk with you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. So if you want any more information about the Student Guild or Bloomsbury Institute, please check out the websites down below. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Yasmin Alice, and today I'm at Bloomsbury Institute with Ramin, who is the very first president of the Student Guild. We're going to talk a little bit more about the formation of the Student Guild and his role as the president. First of all, thank you so much for joining me here today. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. So what did you study here? Uh, well, I did the business and management degree in 2014. Yeah. Great. And there was no student guild when you first joined here? Uh, no, not really. Was there I a need my... for a student guild? I believe so. Um, I believe so. And that's, you can see the difference since the formation of the student guild and how the students have become more of a community. Um, yeah. What is the role of the Student Guild? So say, for example, there's a new student who comes to study here and they're like, oh, well, I'm going to a Student Guild meeting. Well, what does that mean? What does that entail? Well, I guess the Student Guild has multiple functions. One is a central hub for students to meet each other, get to know each other, uh, interact with each other, uh, form societies, join societies if they need advice, need help. Um, whether it's academic or not, um, Student Guild is, I guess, the hub for all of that. So what was it like before the Student Guild was formed? Not as fun. <laughs> Great answer. Not <laughs> as fun. So it, it was obviously a necessity and who decided and who came about with the idea of forming the Student Guild? I guess the institution as a whole. Um, with a lot of input from um, student opinion and, like you said, the necessity of what the students wanted. What is the role of the president? 
everything. <laughs> um, I guess the student president is the ultimate voice of the students and all the representatives will feed any concerns, any views of the students all the way to the student president and represents them on either the boards or any other committees. Obviously this is taking us back to maybe seven years ago, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Quite a while back, yeah. Can you give me an example of, if you remember some of your peers, maybe they wanted something from the university and they came to you and they said, oh, we need X, Y, Z, and then you went and actually acquired that. Do you have an example as such? We had quite a few, um, and quite a few of the requests were successful. One was, uh, for example, a student. We had concerns around attendance at the time, you know, with how we came into classes, how we registered our attendance and whatnot, and that was raised up to um, the committees within the institute through the student guild, or what the student guild was at the time. Those were heard, and then action quite quickly as well. Um, when we wanted funding for um, societies, when we didn't have them at the time, so students could get involved in certain activities, for example, law society, football society, uh, those were heard through the institution and the student guild and students did get what they want. How easy is it to get involved with these societies? Do you need to pay a membership? Do you need to apply or do you just go and join? It was very easy at the time when I was a student, a student president. Um, I'm pretty sure it's quite simple now as well. Great. And you're still working here? <laughs> what do you do? I am the finance and internal audit manager at um, Bloomsbury Institute. Um, I oversee all operations with, to do with day-to-day -day finance and internal audit. Yeah. Not the funnest of roles. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sure it is somewhat fun. Uh, but, um, I mean, you studied here, you're working here. I'm assuming you do enjoy being here. I do. Great. Um, so do you have any advice for students or prospective students that think about coming to university here? Take opportunities that they come. Don't be afraid. If someone offers you opportunities, take it. Would you recommend them that they join the Student Guild? Yes. Yes. You won't regret it. Simples. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been lovely chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys want more information about Bloomsbury Institute or the Student Guild, all the links are going to be down below. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, we're going to be talking to Rajin Sandhu, a former international student and the former Student Guild president. Very excited to hear about that. So first of all, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, very good. So tell me a little bit about what you studied here. Um, I studied law um, during my early years which was fantastic and now I've moved on to MBA just to get a business side of experience in, into my life. Where are you from? I'm from India, um, North India, Punjab. Cool. And what was the process like applying for university and coming over here? Oh, it was, um, it was actually quite smooth. Bloomsbury Institute really takes care of you. You can always call any staff member and they really try to help you out or put you to the right department. So I personally didn't really struggle too much with that. Do English universities and you know, British education have a good reputation in India? For sure, 100%. Because um, British had quite a lot of control over India for a long period of time. And English is seen as a predominant language. Um, you know, more than 21 million speaking, uh, people speak English in India. So it's definitely valued. What was your experience like when you first came to this country? Did you feel, I don't know, intimidated or was I mean, it a comfortable journey? I was definitely journey? nervous mm. because I, I didn't really know how to speak English as well um, and I really had a thick accent which made it a lot of my teachers, um, which made it hard for my teachers to understand me but over the years I lost the accent, um, I still have it and I'm very proud of my accent, my heritage but over the years I kind of conformed to the British culture and I've um, been here for ever since so it's been, it's been a great journey and I'm really, really proud of it. Amazing, so the Student Guild, what was your experience like with that? Absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, everyone's really nice and friendly. I definitely tell everyone to get involved as much as they can because the main element of student experience that gets undermined is networking. Where a lot of students don't realise is the peers that, that their cohort, they are going to be in predominant places later on and they're the people that can help them out later on. So it's definitely worthwhile getting to know everyone being nice because it definitely helped them out later. 
and you were the president. I mean, wow, that's a huge role. How did you get elected as the president? Well, um, it's great motivation from the guild manager, uh, Shola. She really helped me out. She had hunted me, so it was uh, fantastic. I've always been keen on getting involved, whether it was school or college. Um, once I came to university, I signed up for a student rep straight away. And then it was just a smooth journey from there on, climbing the ladder. How has the Student Guild helped you in your career? It's definitely made me more confident and um, helped me with my communication skills. I'm more of a people person now than I was before. Um, it 100% helps with your social anxiety if you do suffer with mental health as I do. So it, it was a great journey, great people, um, and definitely has helped me a lot in my life, not just my university experience. That's lovely to hear. And if we've got any international students watching this, they might think, wow, what an amazing guy. I wish I could be like him. Do you have any advice for them? Um, I'd say definitely just get to know people, be involved as much as you can with activities, any events that we hold. Um, it will definitely help you out. It will build you on, uh, upon your skills that employers really look for in the future. So don't have any doubts. If you have any questions, go to the Guild team, ask them, and they'll definitely help you get involved and help you out through your journey in the university. Thank you so much for this chat. No worries. Pleasure. So if you're an international student and you'd like to apply to university here, or if you would like to find out how you can get involved with the Student Guild as an international student, check out the links down below. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to be chatting with Mustafa, who is a current international student at Bloomsbury Institute. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? Good. What are you studying? I'm studying business and management. How are you finding it? It's perfect. Yeah, it's amazing. The teachers are good. Where are you from? I'm from Afghanistan. Would you recommend people from your country to come and study here? Yes, I would recommend because people in UK are good. The, you can meet, especially in London, you can meet different people from different cultures and make new friends. So absolutely, I would recommend them to come to UK and study here. What's your involvement with the Student Guild? I'm very new, but even though I really find it good, it's perfect, and my skills are improving, I'm learning new skills. Yeah, thanks to Shola for helping us a lot. Did you have any troubles settling in, in your first few weeks? Um, my first few weeks were tough, but when I get settled, then it was very easy, and I was walking all through central London, it was amazing, but initial it is hard and then it's good. How can the Student Guild help new students? They help new students to uh, improve their skills, uh, put their skills in action, and other than that, um, they can improve them uh, to be a better student in London. Mustafa, thank you so much for all this. You're welcome. Thank you. Lovely meeting you. Thanks. Thanks to you.